Simmer is Weeper here and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do an updated JTAC video as with reading some of the comments from my last one it appears I was doing uh, some of the procedures incorrectly so I wanted to do a video with the correct procedures and also offer some little tips which uh, helps me to be successful. So we're just going to turn back for our last leg. We're just waiting to contact JTAC at uh, 750 36 hours so get another 30 seconds here just gonna head back to steer point five Alright, so we're coming up to uh, steer point 5. It's going to be our contact. We're going to switch to our JTAC channel. Which is going to be 348.5. Or it's also going to be uh, your common channel, which will be by default to uniform channel 6. I'm going to wait till I reach my steer point, then I'm just going to set up the autopilot in orbit so I can go hands-free, and then I'll just start uh, working all the information. Okay, we got about 20 seconds to our contact, so I'm just going to set myself up in an orbit here. Just going to throttle up a little bit. And turn the autopilot on. Just kind of let it sink in here, get my speed going a little bit better. Okay, I think we're good like this for now. Alright, so I don't know my JTAC's call sign yet, so I'm just going to address uh, him as JTAC. So, JTAC, Gamble 6, check. So our speed's pretty good here. Gamble 6-1, Troll 3, ready to copy. So he's going to be call sign Troll. Troll Gamble 6, 2 F-16s, 20 miles south, 14,000 on station. Gamble 6-1, Troll 3, advise, ready for echo. So like I said, for the check-in, I wasn't able to put all the parameters in with voice attack. It seemed to just be too, infor too much information, so I narrowed it down to the call signs, how many F-16s, my location and distance, uh, altitude, and then of course just advise that I'm on station. So now we're going to call for echo. Control Gamble 6, ready for echo. And we're going to go to steer point 5 for that one. Gamble 6 1, Troll 3, echo. North 3, 9, 5, 4, 1, 6. East 0, 2, 3, 2, 3, 0, 6. Okay, so he gave us our uh, echo point, which is going to be north 3954, and then he had said 16. So we're going to add a zero at the end, and then our east is going to be 02323, and then he said 06. So that would indicate that. Um, a current bug with this version, uh, which I'm told to be uh, fixed in the update, so we're going to add a zero because they won't call it out if it starts with a zero, and we're going to go zero zero six. Now we're going to call in ready for a nine line. Troll 
Gamble 6, ready for 9 line. Delta 8. Zero, 7, 7, right. 8.21. Two, seven, four, three, fit. Target is an enemy column. North three, nine, five, four, one, six. East zero, two, three, two, two, four, four. Smoke. Friendly West, seven, two, three, one. Egress West. Okay, so our IP is going to be Delta 8, so that's going to be west 8 miles, and our offset is going to be to the right with an attack heading of uh, about 077, and distance is going to be 821, and our target elevation is 2743. So we're going to add that in there, get that up to date. Then I'm going to go to uh, uh, destination page for steer point 5, and I'm just going to add a reference point. First, I'm going to change that to nautical miles. And they want to set 8 miles, but I find that's just too short of a distance to set up your offset and attack heading. And I'm told uh, it has to stay at that distance uh, with, uh, in regards to how the uh, ground units de-ag. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it to 10 miles. It just gives me a little bit more time to set up uh, to the west. And I'm going to put that at 14,000 feet just so I have a reference point in the HUD. Right the way to ground mode, we're going to go master arm on. And now we want to come to the west, so we're going to come in around and hook in. And turn the autopilot off. I'm going to send my wingman to trail. To go trail. And we're going to speed up here for about 380. Two. Now JTAC isn't designed for... Um, AI wingman, but what I have been doing with somewhat limited success is requesting a target and then assigning that target to the wingman. So we're going to try that. Uh, usually works well. The only issue I find, I'm not exactly sure if it's related to that, but um, after I do that, I don't seem to get any more target information from JTAC. I can check out and get the BDA, but they don't seem to talk to me after that. So I'm not sure if that's directly related to that, as I've also had that happen uh, just flying by myself as well. So I'm not sure what's causing that, but we'll see how this is going to go. So just like the last one, we're going to do two examples uh, since I'm carrying two GBU-12s. First one, I will laze, and the second one. I request uh, JTAC to lease for me. Alright, now we're going to come to the north here. So again, they want us to come in uh, from the west, so like an eastbound heading. And uh, we're going to offset to the right to intercept a uh, radial of 077 for attack. And then uh, we're, of course, going to egress to the west. So the manual says uh, to call a few miles before your IP. Um, as the AI takes a few seconds here to give you a target. So, our IP is set to 10. I'm just going to call it in uh, right in the turn here, as I'm currently going to be at about 13 miles. <clears throat> that should give me enough time to get the target information while I'm still uh, heading towards target before I do my offset turn. Two, in position.
Okay, that looks pretty good right about there. Control Gamble 6 1 in. Should be better. We're at 10, now we're going to turn right. Uh, Two, let me I forgot to set that up, so we're just going to turn Gamble, this to. 6 1, troll 3, cleared hot. Turn this to zero seven five. Sorry, I should have done that earlier. Seven seven. Better turn and tell them to put some smoke up for me. Control gamble six one. Request smoke. Gamble, 6-1, ground forces marking target with smoke. There it is. That'll do. Came in a little low here. Gamble, 6-1, payboy. Alright, weapons release. Just went there. Boom, nice shot. Gamble six one shack. Okay, now we're off west. And we're just gonna set up and do the same thing again. This time we're gonna get them to lease for me. I got a little bit low there. I wanted to stay at Angels 14, but a little distracted trying to adjust my HSI for my intercept heading. Let's trim this out a little bit here. Basically, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to fly out to about 12 miles. I'll turn back in, and then I'll call in, and hopefully I'll get my target information before 10 miles this time. And then I'll get them to lease for me, and hopefully have a cleaner attack run than my first one. Gamble 6 1 in. Right, turn back east. Gamble 6 1, troll 3, cleared hot. Alright, so I'm cleared hot. Uh, 
Control, Gamble 6-1, request laser marking 1679. Gamble 6-1, roger, 1-6-7-9, hold on. Alright, we're turning right for my offset. Gamble 6-1, laser on. Alright, switch to... Oh, got it right on. <laughs> that worked really nice. Gamble 6-1 has target. Okay, and we're coming left. Our offset is 0 7, seven. So we're heading 077. And we've got our target.
time uh, dropping that Midway. light. Oh, there we go. Let me try to get a view of the target here. Clouds obstructing the view a little bit. one.